going on? Michael G. Davis, Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm. Making the bids in five minutes or less. Uh, we typically do it on Mondays and Thursdays. So here's another installment. So today I want to talk about knowing your business. I had a conversation with a good friend of mine. He's in the oil and gas industry. So we had the OTC down here. For y'all that don't know what the OTC is, it's the Ocean Technology Conference. A humongous conference. One of the, a matter of fact, it's the largest Gulf uh, of Mexico, or Gulf, deep water conferences in the, in the United States, maybe even in the world. So we have it at NRG Stadium. And um, our office is close to NRG, so our streets get clogged and traffic for about four or five days while the OTC is here, but you know, it draws a lot of attention, draws people from all over the world. Well, I had a conversation with my, with my colleagues, actually a past client of ours, and I asked them, are you going to the OTC? That was my question. I mean, it just kind of made sense because he does valve solutions and things like that uh, during for oil field services. So I asked him, are you going to the OTC? So his response to me was, and I thought it was beautiful because it really showed that he had a strong understanding and a grasp of his business. He said, well, I tried it a couple of times and I realized that the OTC wasn't for me and my business. I actually go to a valve conference in Oklahoma every year. So, and I thought it was beautiful because he understands his business and he understands what works. He understands what doesn't work. And as a business owner, especially with Brooks and Davis Real Estate Firm, we're, we're constantly looking and understanding what works for us that may not, you know, that or, or what may not work for us that may work for other people. So we're not sitting here copying what other real estate companies are doing or what other companies are doing uh, from a standpoint of just doing the same old, same old uh, and, and not really paying attention to the results. We're real big on results, right? Is this working? And, and when you have a business and you're paying attention to, is this working? The thing that determines if it's working or not is ultimately if you're making money. It's got to always go back to that bottom line, right? Uh, you hear people talk about brand awareness, people knowing your brand. Look, that don't come into effect until after you've made money, after you become profitable. Humongous companies are concerned about brand awareness because they don't have to worry about uh, making sure that they make more money than they spend. They don't have to worry about profit, right? McDonald's don't have to worry about profit. They're going to profit. State Farm, they ain't got to worry about profit. Pepsi, these major corporations, they don't have to worry about profit. So at that point, it is about brand. It is about when a person sees Pepsi, how do they feel about it? When they hear McDonald's, what, how do they feel about it? It is about brand because everybody knows them already. So they don't have to worry about profit. So if you're a small business coming in talking about brand awareness, you first need to be talking about profit. Am I making a profit? So you have to know your business and you have to know what drives profit in your business? What are these activities? Where where should I market? Where should I attend? Where should I put my focus and generate new clients and new leads? You have to know it, right? And the way that you know, for you to determine where you're gonna put your marketing or where you're gonna spend your time, for you to determine that, it's easy. Just look at what who have our who has already bought from you? Who are your past clients? You know, where have your past sales come from? Look at that. And then you take that and then you enhance it. You build upon those areas. You don't always have to be looking for new territory. You don't have to be looking for new ground. Uh, the easiest way to grow any company is taking what's already working, what's organically been drawn to you. And then you pour time, you pour energy and monies into those, into that avenue. And that really helps you grow to the biggest part. So just kudos to my friend. Again, he really knew his business and I could appreciate that to where when he answered my question about if he was attending that, he recognized that wasn't a good fit or a good place for him and his business as well as to pick up clientele. It's extremely important as a business owner that you know your business and nobody's gonna know it more than you. Nobody should know it more than you. It all falls on you, okay? so. There we have it, another installment, Making the Biz in 5 Minutes or Less, Mondays, Thursdays. I always look forward to it. You guys have a great one. Bye-bye.